uh, Daniel from Andor with here, just outside um, in our backyard in front of our shop. When you get a new surfboard, one of the best feelings is to actually um, wax your surfboard for the first time. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. The first thing you should do is um, just remove any residue or dirt off the board. So just use an old t-shirt or a towel. So basically when you're going to wax up a surfboard, you want to wax where um, your feet are going to be. Okay, so on a short board, you're going to be waxing sort of the bottom third of a board, but a long board like this, you want to actually wax all the way up to the nose. Um, now when you're waxing a surfboard, the first thing you want to do is start with a base coat. And usually a base coat, the wax is nice and firm, nice and hard. So what's that, what that's going to do is just create a layer on the bottom to then um, start your bumps. So what you want to do when you first get your wax, nice base coat wax, uh, this one's actually made from beeswax, so it's 100% organic. So you just want to start with a crosshatch method. So basically that is just going diagonal, with diagonal lines, about all the same width apart. Because this is a log, potentially we're going to be nose riding this board, so we want to wax all the way up to the top. <laughs> what you can see here now is we have now um, cross hatched that whole surfboard, and now that's going to provide a really nice um, layer for us then to use some circle motions. To then start our, our wax and, and start start the circle start the little bumps um, forming. So when you wax your surfboard, you should think about it like tyres on your car, probably the most important thing with your car is your tyres, going to stick to the road. Same with your wax and your surfboard, basically it's a thing that is um, keeping your feet attached to the surfboard. Um, so when you go to do your turns or to lean either way, you want to be able to make sure that your feet are actually sticking, because that's what makes you steer the surfboard. Okay, so now that we've done these sort of circles, you now sort of start to see a bit of a a nice wax layer has now started to build up. So now you could probably just do some horizontal. And then do some vertical. So we've probably used now about half a block of wax, which is probably the normal amount to use. We've now got a nice base coat down on the surfboard. We now want to use a soft, a soft wax. Now your wax all depends on the water temperature of the place you're surfing. Now at the moment we're in South Australia, um, the water is starting to get warmer. So you probably now use a, um, a summer, a summer wax. So nice and soft. This one's obviously still made from beeswax. The bead is here. Now same process again. You've already done your cross hatch. Um, so now really you can just go now back in circles again. Now this is something that I probably prefer to do once a surf. Um, so not the base coat, but definitely reapplying the top coat at least before every surf. Now I've now used sweating. <laughs> I've now used about another half half a block of wax and as you can see now the whole board is covered. You can definitely now start to see some bumps where the bumps have now um, formed and 
Um, you've got the mixture between the two different sort of waxes there. Um, now you can just basically just go over it again. And there we go. I'm Daniel from Ando With and that's how you wax a new surfboard.